Okay, assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So I would like to share some things on reading, uh, especially on reading skills, and I'm going to elaborate more about it in this video. So hopefully by looking at the example and some explanation, and together with the slides that I have shared with you last week, so you can have a clearer picture about reading skills. So let's go uh, to the slides again, all right? So here is the slides that I have shared with you earlier. So in the beginning, I talk about uh, skimming and scanning, okay? So um, before I forget about that, uh, let me share the screen so that you can see what am I trying to show to you, okay? All right, so in the previous meeting, I talked about skimming and scanning. And over here, uh, in this video, I have, uh, what you call it, adapted attacks, okay, uh, taken from the internet, all right? And then we're going to look how uh, you can uh, scheme and scan the text in order to get um, a basic uh, understanding what is the text all about. So when we are talking about scheming, okay, as it is stated in the slides here, so scheming is a fast reading technique. It helps to identify quickly the main ideas in the text. You can read the first and the last paragraphs using headings, okay, if the text consists of headings. If not, you can also read the title or the subtitle, the heading and down the page or screen. So in this context, right over here, we can see that the title or the heading of the article is homelessness. Okay, so the title of the article is homelessness. So by reading, okay, this is skimming part, okay, by skimming this title, you will you will know that the entire text over here okay starting from this paragraph until the end of it okay uh, let me get it right until the end of the paragraph okay so this entire paragraph will be about homeless okay the state of being homeless so when you scheme you can go and read the title of the article or the text, then you can come up with the clear understanding what is the text about, okay? Let's say I ask, okay, in the question, for example, it requires you to answer the question by giving the exact figure, okay, stated of the number of homeless people exp or people experiencing homeless problem in the United States. So when you scan through the text in the uh, introductory paragraph, you can start from this line, okay? According to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, there are over 500,000 people experiencing homelessness on any given night. So you can get the clear uh, answer for the question of how many people in the United States of America experiencing a homeless uh, issue or problem. So this is called scanning because if the question okay requires you to give the figure or the number then you know that you are supposed to look for the number and if you notice in the entire text okay this is the only part that consists of the number so this is about skimming and scanning okay let's go to the next slide it is about main idea and supporting details okay as i have told you in the uh, previous lecture or previous session so when you are reading the uh, the material, okay, always come into uh, your attention that basically when it comes to the introductory paragraph, so this is the introductory paragraph or the introduction, okay, at the end of it, right, the last line of the introductory paragraph, normally you are going to have the thesis statement, okay, you're going to have the thesis statement. Let me write it for you. You're going to have the thesis statement in the introductory paragraph. So what is the thesis statement? So the thesis statement is actually the controlling idea of the whole text. So what is the text all about? And for your information, this text is about or in the uh, approach of cause and effect. Okay. So as you can see, the last line over here, okay, or the last sentence, in the introductory paragraph starting from this word until this word okay so you can see over here while many factors have contributed 
to the rise in homeless rates, one of the most profound is the lack of adequate social support services. So the thesis statement tells about lack of adequate social support services. That will be the thesis statement or the main idea of the text. So the cause over here will be about the lack of adequate social support services. And when you go to the first body paragraph here, this is the first body paragraph, okay, you can look at the beginning of the sentence here or the beginning of the paragraph, social support services, whether they are funded publicly or privately, would be able to take to tackle many of the immediate, uh, immediate and long-term challenges that face people experiencing homelessness. So it tells more about the social support services. So that will be the main idea of this uh, point, okay, or this uh, thesis statement, okay? All right, in addition to providing adequate and reliable shelter, services like drug counseling, treatment for physical or emotional abuse, and career counseling can address some of the factors that lead to homelessness, okay? This word over here, the pronunciation is similar like the Kuih career. It's career, not career, okay? The spelling for career is different. Okay, we'll talk about it uh, in the other, uh, what you call meetings, okay? So starting from this, um, I mean like the rest of the lines, okay? After the, in, uh, the first line or the first sentence in this paragraph, tells more about social support services, All right? As you can go, or you can see starting from this part, the individual stories of each person going through homelessness will vary. What is often found, though, is that the homelessness came about because of a series of events. A person may unexpectedly lose their job, which may lead to family problems at home, which may lead to drug abuse as a coping mechanism, which may lead to further financial stress and so on. Appropriate social services at any point in this process may be able to prevent homelessness from becoming this person's reality. So until this particular word, okay, the end of it, this is what we call the supporting details because it tells what went wrong, okay, uh, in uh, the issue of homelessness. And uh, one of the reasons is because of social lack of social support services and what went wrong with the social support services. So as you can see over here, all right, people uh, unexpectedly lose their job, okay, that may lead to family problems at home and then lead to drug abuse as a coping mechanism. So this is on main ideas and supporting details. Okay, all right, I will also talk about uh, in this video about contextual clues. Okay, let's say you don't have a dictionary with you, all right, if you go to the third paragraph over here, so this is on the effects, okay, of uh, homelessness, all right, so this is the effect. As you remember in the beginning of the video, I've told you that this is a cause and effect video, so this is a cause and effect uh, text or reading material. So here comes the effects, all right? And then as you can see, this is one of the difficult words that you may encounter when you read the text, okay? So the effects of homelessness are equally complex and can be mirror images of the root causes. Because the person is experiencing homelessness, this may put profound strain on personal relationship. So you couldn't find the word or the meaning of the word profound Let's say you don't have the access to the internet or you don't have the dictionary with you uh, at that moment. So how can you guess the meaning of this word? Okay, you can refer back to the lines or the sentences before it. Okay, for example, because the person is experiencing homelessness. So this is a serious issue. Okay, all right. And then the sentence after it, strain on personal relationship. Okay. Strain here is about problem with personal relationship. So you can guess that the meaning of the word profound can be something that is crucial, okay, or something that is important, okay, or something that is very deep, all right? So this may put deep problem on personal relationship, okay, or crucial strain on personal relationship because it is very important. So that is about... Um, skimming, okay, we look at the title of the text, okay, scanning, you read the uh, questions and then you can uh, 
what you call it, identify what kind of information that you're supposed to look for in the reading uh, text, okay? And then we go to the main ideas and supporting details. And lastly, we talk about contextual tools. So basically, I have covered uh, these things, okay? In this video, hopefully, you can get a clear understanding and a clear picture of what you are supposed to do when you are given the task on reading, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing the screen now. Okay, I go back to this video, okay? And then I hope that you enjoy this video and you will know what you are supposed to do when you are supposed to read uh, uh, reading materials or reading text, okay? So uh, in my, uh, for my suggestion, okay, what you can do is that perhaps, okay, in the beginning you can read the title and then you can read the question so that you will know what kind of answers that you are supposed to look for, okay? So that's all from me. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Uh, subscribe and like my YouTube channel for uh, more videos coming in uh, later. So I believe that's all from me. Thank you very much again and Assalamualaikum. Bye.